Swift here look pretty logical. I think that maybe this is just a logical way to continue. I mean, it's about equal. Um, I can play a five or I can play an IG four, but in many cases it all looks very balanced. After H four, I started to get very ambitious because I can also maybe play F six, but okay. I, I thought that after F six, I would go E five. Which one? E five. E five, yeah. And um, it was F E we thought. F E five. Also, I, I had a feeling that this should be okay. And um, like G4, I thought. Oh no, not here. Oh, sorry, it's without the without the knight on D2. No, now, now it doesn't work at all. Yeah, maybe I should play F in that case. Um, I have a bishop yeah, G5. Bishop G5. And now uh, bishop G4 is very strong. Bishop G4. This is the key. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, maybe it was also playable, but I thought this is so attractive at least. I was mainly thinking about bishop f4, h6, and just to take the pawn immediately. Um, because of hg, after knight d4, I couldn't really find a way to continue the attack. Look h8 and f3, and once f3 happens, I really, uh, really don't have much. So I was thinking that here I would, uh, uh, so h6, bishop 7 I would play bishop b6 anyway. And okay, knight yeah. c3, transpose to transpose to the game, yeah. Yeah, and if not knight d3, I don't know, because now it's, uh, like knight d4 is not going to work because of bishop g5 somewhere. So so maybe it would be the same. Yeah, I confused myself, or I wasted a lot of time, because I intended to play after h6, rook a d1, but of course bishop e6, otherwise I have bishop c5. Yeah, yeah bishop e6. Uh, h5, bishop c5 is suddenly just good for one. Yeah. But here, you just wasted a move. Yeah, yeah and... Uh, at first, I mean, I at first I couldn't believe that there is there is absolutely nothing here, but it seems like it should be six and then b three is just one prophylactic move. And I mean, I, I also could get worse. I mean, maybe it's not worse here, but uh, no. We switch on the computer around here. It says black is fine, but it doesn't give a sensible plan because queen h three f six and moves yeah, around, but it doesn't really come up with anything. So I even mean, if F6 you triple on the h file, there's no mate. So it's no, no, there's no attack anymore. But I can still play, and I have after f six king f seven a pretty safe king. So it, I guess it's not worse for me. But I thought that this was was more ambitious because the bishop is now kind of relegated to b six because this is just bad. E5 and now some some move was crushing like queen h5 or uh, or just hg5 um, and if the bishop goes back to g3 there's no more defense with knight g3 so this is forced um, and yeah I guess this is about equal somehow um, I would be happy to get this of course in yeah knight d4 or rook oh, well, knight d4 I just made you I think ah then rook e1 first yeah first rook e1 and then I mean I felt like it's kind of equal but but uh, I feel like it's easier to play easier for white also. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I was just very attracted to this plan of dominating the bishop. Yeah, here I, sh here I should have had a longer think. <laughs> Maybe rook AD1 here or rook F1. Yeah, at least here I need to understand what I want to do. I mean, I thought I would play F6 and King F7 here. Um, and I, don't, I was still pretty comfortable because it looks like my play is a bit easier. Yeah, maybe I should do something like rook AD1, queen C3 and rook D5. Yeah, queen c3, but here rook c6 is very oh. problematic, yeah? yeah? Otherwise queen c3 would be... Yeah, then I need to lose more time, yeah. Yeah, it's somehow, maybe, I don't, I don't know if you can consider playing bishop a5 here, because the bishop is actually kind of, it looks unnatural, but the bishop on b6 it gets pretty much trapped after c5. Right. But uh, it's, I mean, it's difficult to foresee this. Yeah, because on a5 I was afraid that in some line it's going to tank. Yeah, that's also, also very possible. I mean, at first I, I didn't really, wasn't sure if I was better or not, but then I couldn't really see him a move for white. I think this queen h6 is important because here suddenly white has a lot of counterplay. Um, so I just need to, because um, now like bishop c4, knight f5, I'm just not in time. So with the queen h6, it's, it's mate. Um, yeah, we wanted b3, but then yeah. knight h2 was a poor. Oh no, bishop f6 was a poor. I was just going to play f6. I wasn't. I, I was just going to play his position, king of seven, and then eventually look for knight h2 or knight e5, or maybe rook h7, rook h8, and mm -hmm. after king of one, try some something. <laughs> I mean, my my thoughts were a bit vague, but I thought that after a few preparatory moves, it will be very difficult for white to play. 
and you, know, you always have to look out for 95, which is a, a very... Yeah, I, I agree. That's why I burnt all my time, because I simply could not understand what, what plunders for it. And maybe just bring the bishop down. Computer gives yeah. bishop a5 as this move. Yeah. Well, I thought that Instead here... Of b3. Well, okay, you can bring the bishop back, but now you have to get worried about rook d8 and bishop d6 or something. Okay, it's pretty much like the game except a pawn up for you, so I guess yeah. it was a better version. Um, yeah, and, and here I was sure I was completely winning, but then... Yeah, here, yeah, knight h2. Knight h2. Knight g5, knight f1. Yeah, yeah, this would be a, a beautiful mm -hmm. way to finish it, because this is his mate. That's cute. Uh, and queen h1. And I only noticed this, uh, this idea of knight f1 later, when it was already too late. Uh, I think also bishop d6 is winning. But it becomes a little bit messy. There should be five, um, and now maybe you should try some move like, like queen e one or queen e two. It still looks, because this is surprisingly just uh, just game over. And there's no way to really prevent this. Uh, bishop c four, queen g one, queen f two, collect everything. I mean, like uh, the king can run, but uh, I saw some line with bishop b six here. Um, well, knight e four still looks. <laughs> Kind of messy, but okay. It, it felt like somehow to me. But yeah, I, I don't know why I did this. I just um, I, I kind of wanted to play it safe, but then I realized that I'm sort of losing control because now now the rooks are invading the main lines. And now I wanted to do this, but then I realized that knight um, g five take bishop h eight rook h eight and rook c seven and there's a lot of counterplay and I'm really not. I mean, I need access to the c four square to actually create threats, which I don't have. Like here, here, I, I wasn't entirely sure. Maybe it's still good, but um, a little too messy. And so then I just realized I was a bit low on time and I should start to move fast. So I played rook c4. And I wasn't entirely sure how, how much I ruined the advantage after bishop b2. It felt like I would play b5, and then here I thought maybe I'll take it to pawn, which is not what I want because now I, I don't have this check anymore. What's the difference with bishop d4? Well, here there's queen d7, and I, I ah. don't quite like this. Um, but yeah, I wasn't. I mean, knight h2 always. Um, queen, oh, no, queen now, there's now there's queen e7. Now there's queen e7. So, okay, back I can go, but I, I don't know. I just didn't want to allow the queen to d7. And yeah, this, this was sort of a relief because now at least the bishop just feels like it's hanging here. And queen f5, I guess, is a, is a losing move. Hold on, maybe here. And, and then I was looking at e5. I felt like it should be winning after, um, after knight h2. Knight g5, f g5, e6, and I thought that this move king g8, and then knight g4 back is, is mating. Um, I don't... I mean, I wasn't 100% sure, but, but it looked like it was winning. And there was something later after queen a5, knight h2, could white go knight e1? Uh, I saw this, but I thought there was some some sort of way to attack, like uh, g4, bishop e3. Yeah, it didn't collapse immediately, at least. Yeah, maybe this, this was holding on. Yeah, I mean, my calculations were, were just a little bit brief here because we were both very low on time. Yeah. And I kind of figured, <laughs> I thought I might have something. Yeah, and here I just got careless. I mean, there must be a much easier way to finish the game than g4. Uh, maybe maybe here g4 immediately is a better way of doing it. Yeah, this, this, this should be just finishing the game on the spot. Because now there's no f4 and rook c4, I can just play knight f3 and mate. And, uh, Bishop be three, knight of threes. Yeah, I mean, this was incredibly careless. And then here, I'm, I, I guess I'm still winning, but, uh, but I was not happy that I had, had made it so messy. Because, okay, here, there's just nothing to do by rook h3. And this is surprisingly not so clear. So I have to take with the pawn, which is not exactly what I want. But I guess I just play rook h3 next and there's no defense yeah, against so it. Bishop e3, there was queen a5 or something like to run back to the queen. queen a5. Yeah. And then queen e1. Yeah. Continues. Mm -hmm. Well, this is... <laughs> I, 
kind of difficult to spot yeah. in, in time travel. Um, yeah, I didn't notice this move at all. But, I mean, this this is attractive, but because this is, uh, I mean, I wasn't entirely sure. Here and then here, and who knows what's going on. But this is just makes it. So. Yeah, when I went for this line, I simply missed it at the very end. There's queen f1 because I was just looking at uh, some bishop c5, rook f6. Yeah, uh, it's almost surprising that there but we missed bishop b4 for for me. It's yeah, there's mate. there are mates uh, everywhere. Um, uh, it also, for some reason, took me some time to understand that I'm actually completely mating here, which I think I spent like two minutes and then it suddenly dawned on me that that there's nowhere to run. So messy game, the classic chess tournament question for you both. Tomorrow's a rest day. How are you planning to spend it, Georg? Um, actually, we'll go to a very nice hotel in Baden-Baden, so probably we'll go to the spa. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you, Fabian? I actually think that sounds like a great idea. So you go together? <laughs> I don't know about that, but, but uh, I'll probably, probably go at some point. Um, but yeah, we also have to travel, although I guess it's not too far. to like half an hour by car, so yeah, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult to get there. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks,